What's good YouTube? Back again with another video. And today's video is a banger. So I should have done this video probably in the beginning of the summer, but it is what it is. I'm gonna give you this video now. Hopefully this video will be good for next year and kind of have some longevity in it. Basically this is my top 10 Michelin S authentic shorts with the sneakers combination. I was just trying to think outside the box a little bit. When it comes to wearing authentic NBA shorts, you don't really need to dress it up too much. If you put on a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt on top and kind of let the shorts and the sneakers speak for itself, that's more than fine. So to the left of me here, I have 10 shorts. And on the bottom, you guys can't see, but I have 10 sneakers, all right? I try to mix up the sneakers a little bit so it's a little bit more fun. I could have made it 10 Jordans and that would have been kind of corny to me at least. So, I mean, there's enough Jordans in this top 10, but I got a mixture of LeBron's, Penny's, Iverson's, stuff like that, all right? So we're gonna go with the first pair of shorts. This is a short that is very unique, <laughs> to say the least. You're probably not gonna match these perfectly. So I've kind of went and gone the secondary color route. Let me just show you the shorts so you can see what I'm talking about, all right? So we have the Authentic Grizzlies shorts. Now, this one's pretty dope short. Um, you have the bear, huge, huge bear sublimated in on the left side of the shorts. And then you have the tribal band, which is my favorite part of this short. And then you have our tribal band trim on the right side of the shorts. So super dope. I actually ended up putting pockets on these. I stopped doing that because it's an extra 20 bucks. And if I really need to wear or carry some stuff, I actually rock a fanny pack, old school dad style. I do have a Supreme fanny pack, so it's a little trendy. So I'll rock that instead. But there was a time period I was actually putting in pockets for every single one. Pockets aren't bad neither, by the way. These are nylon pockets, 20 bucks. You know, Mamacita from the block basically did them and she did a pretty good job so i can't hate on the fact that i put pockets in these but yes this is those and then to kind of rock these with a sneaker i'm gonna go with the black and red jordan now again to match this teal perfectly maybe there's a sneaker or two out there black teal and red but I, it's tough. It's not the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to go with the secondary colors, the black and the red. Really the secondary and the third colors. And then the ball being a little bit of a red. So with that being said, I'm going with this combination. Jordan 11. This, by the way, is the Jordan 11 2012. So low cut Jordan 11. This sneaker got me back into collecting sneakers. Actually, the Jordan 4 Black Cement got me back into collecting sneakers and I think this sneaker came out the following year and I had to have it. It's been 10 years of collecting straight up since then and before that I took like a five, six year hiatus but this is the sneaker that really brought me back. This made me want to collect all the sneakers that I used to have, etc. So this is my number one combination, right? So that's that. Now, my number two combination is this pair of shorts. So we have the authentic Lakers throwback. Of course, you would see Kobe and the boys rock this. And I believe in the 2003-04 season, that's the same season in which, in which Gary Payton was on the team as well. And that's the year they would lose in the finals to the Detroit Pistons. This is a dope short. Now, funny enough, the year that Mitchell and Ness is using is actually in the 96-97 season. But to me... Um, I think Kobe made these dope. He wore these with the French blue 12s. Um, I had the French blue 12s up there. So yes, I could have easily put those with these. But again, I wanted to kind of think outside the box. And I love the way this blue is. It's really a rich blue. So I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it on the camera. This is pretty rich of a blue. And I wanted to put this with this Jordan 3. So there you see it. How nice the blues match. Clean sneaker. Again, white tee, black tee, however you want to throw it or put this together, you could rock this as is. Pretty dope, right? So that would be my second of my top 10 combination. Now, 
My third are the Orlando Magic shorts. What a beauty. This is phenomenal. I remember T-Mac rocking these, and he would have his T-Mac Adidas on, and they were fire too. I'm not a huge fan of them. I only have one of the T-Mac ones, which is the SVSMs, and then I have one of the T-Mac 2, which is also the SVSM. You see the stripes on the side, stars sublimated in. Penny would wear this for one year, and then once T-Mac came on, Penny was already gone. You had the magic embroidered on the back, and you had this beautiful patch. Definitely dope. And then I would rock this with the Penny phone posit. Again, black tee, white tee. Keep it simple up top. Maybe like a cause tee if you want to really be trendy with it. But keep it real simple up top and then throw these on and you're killing it. This is definitely dope. Definitely a good combination for sure. All right. They need to bring these back out. I heard they are bringing back the form posits in 2023 that'd be dope to see so that is combination number three combination number four we have the denver nuggets throwbacks Oof. this patch right here is beautiful so dope pair of shorts you had the denver nugget logo guy Besides that, you get a plain blue pair of shorts with white trim. Clean pair of shorts, of course. And what I was thinking was to try to grab a little bit of the yellow that outlines the Denver Nugget logo, man. So I decided to use this sneaker as a combination. Right? And as you guys can see, hold on, let me get the Denver Nugget guy. So that was my inspiration on this pair of sneakers to go with these pair of shorts. I think this is a pretty good combination. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you would wear? To me, this is a pretty fired combination, pretty simple. All right, so that's combination number four. All right, let's get to number five. So with these pair of shorts, I could have went with Jordans pretty easily, but I decided to go a little bit outside the box on these. And these are the pair of shorts that wear showing or displaying um also put pockets in these by the way but it's a dazzle green i believe this is the 2010 2009 uh season stitched bull diamond design on the side like you would get from the bulls mj days the fact that they pretty much made this the same as your bulls typical shorts but the green dazzle to me makes it fire so yeah, I could have went definitely with a black and red Jordan. Um, that's pretty simple. They also have like black, red, and green Jordans, like a Spizike 6. In fact, definitely could have done something like this. Hold on a second. <laughs> In fact, you know, you had the greens and the reds, mostly red, but green also. So I could have absolutely done something like this as well. I wanted to give you guys a uh, LeBron to go with these. So I'm gonna pull out the Deion Sanders inspired LeBron 15. First off, to me, the 15s are really underrated. It's probably my favorite model past 10. So seven, eight, nine, 10 were really good to me. 11s were kind of trash, 12s were okay, 13s were whack, 14s were whack, 15s is where it's at, 16s were okay. 17s were okay, kind of whack. Uh, 18s, yeah, just to me, past 11 to 20, the 20 I actually really like. Hopefully, I'll even like them more or once I see the technology. But to me, the 15 is the best past 10, all right? So, and then with these, they came out with the, what the hell is it called? The watch, something LeBron watch, that's what it was, where he would wear PEs and the Nike sneaker app will drop the PE. These weren't really in stores at all. So you had to only get them on the app. I thought that that was pretty cool. Hopefully they could come back with something like that, but it gave you opportunity to cop something that he was actually wearing 
on the court, which I am a big fan of because I'm all about rocking something that the players actually wore. So, but enough of that. I could get into a whole fucking video with that. But this would be my combination for these, right? At this point, I'll definitely throw probably a black team um, to break up the red shoe. And that's pretty much how I would rock it. But yeah, this would be a dope combination in my opinion. All right. We're at uh, five. We're at five. Now we have the Nets throwback shorts. Man, these are nice too. And with these, they're not the easiest to really match match. But I tried my best. So let's see what happens. And I went with the LeBron 3. Right, so LeBron 3 kind of has this like sky blue, and then on the trim, you had this almost like maroon stripe, and of course, as you can see, hints of maroon on this sneaker as well. This is actually a Houston inspired sneaker, this really could be a Phillies inspired sneaker as well. Like the Philadelphia throwbacks, I believe, had these same exact colors. So before they went to the royal blue white and red which is like the kenny anderson era uh, i believe this is the team that would have Drazen petrovich Derek coleman i know for a lot of young guys don't know who those players probably are but this is what they had back in the days right so me personally i'd rock these with these what do you think i think it's a pretty solid pick so that is number five or number six I think we have about four left. So, all right, let's finish this list for you guys. Another pair of shorts that I think is pretty dope. I got last year on a sale. And I think I got these on like 40% off, which made them awesome. But you get, again, that 35th anniversary patch. This is the San Diego Clippers. Dope with the flags on the side, nautical flags. And we see that till this day, we see the nautical flags on top of the jock tag, which is fire. And with this one, because it has a UNC color base, I went with these right here. Uh, <laughs> I could have gone so many directions with this. I decided to just pull these. It was just pretty simple. But again, white tee with this. Uh, definitely a clean look. Um, I also could have went Columbia 11s. You know, if you want to keep it in that UNC theme. Nice white pair of sneakers, basically, with the UNC Jumpman. And I was also thinking about the 11 Low, which I have right up there, but these were just much easier to grab since they're right here somewhere. So I went with these, but this is a good combination as well. All right, so that is that one. Let me put these shoes away while I'm at it. All right, I think we're down to the final three, and I'm excited to show you those because I think they're dope, right? Let me just wipe off real quick. All right, so now we have the 2006 Miami Heat shorts. I've actually wore this combination before in Miami. Uh, shout out to my wife. We went to a trip in Miami for a couple of days, and I bought these shorts out there. I think I was wearing an OO black tee, these shorts, and these sneakers this is the lebron 10 miami you see the number six on the little diamond area here and of course that represents his number back in the miami days but this colorway is super miami so i had to wear these with these as a dope combination and this is a great pair of shorts love the big patch on the shorts here and then you have hints of yellow and red i was trying to think of a Dwayne wade sneaker i don't have any of his converse sneakers that he wore when he was a converse athlete i know he went to jordan brand and i could have done something jordan of course with the black and red but i decided to go lebron with this so that's a dope combination to me and again i have the picture of when i rocked it in miami so i'll put it up so you guys can see as well this is about four three years ago all right this pair of shorts, of course, I usually rock with the pennies. This is the Orlando Magic 
right? Really dope. But I got a new pair of sneakers that I would absolutely wear these with. Look how dope that is. So I definitely wear these, maybe even a black team to kind of keep it from being all, all white. So black team with the shorts, with these pennies. These pennies are awesome. This is an original colorway from what I understand, but it sounds like it never released to the public. So they only released the Orlando version and the black version. I've also could rock these with it. Hold on one second. I also could rock the new social status sneakers with these pennies, by the way. And this will go hard with a black tee as well. So I could definitely do something in this realm. But I went with the white ones because one, they're brand new. It's just a dope combination, but also Penny, Orlando. When you think of pinstripes, you think of Shaq and Penny. And that was a dope era. And not only basketball sneakers, a dope era in basketball in general. So this is my number two combination. And then finally, for my number one combination, this is a dope combination probably my favorite i mean they're all my favorite but this one in particular i don't know why i think because the sneaker matches so well with the shorts so let's just get right to it all right so we have the iverson shorts this is the 97 98 season you have the 76s patch dope trim black red with a little bit of gold, same on the leg, same on the patch, right? So you get this dope ass trim on the patch. And then the sneaker he would actually wear this season is the answer. I mean, what's doper than this, man? Like for real, for real, what's doper than this? To me, this is just an ill combination. Red tea, white tea, black tea, however you want to do it. But let me tell you why I love this so much. They made this sneaker with the red, with the white, with the black, and with the gold. Gold hits here, gold hit here, gold hit on the Reebok logo, gold on the midsole and on the bottom. So they really made this a matching sneaker to this. My favorite combination. This is actually the 2018 version. So this is not the new version that just came out. Still super crispy. And yeah, that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a long one, surprisingly. It was very long, but you know, I do it for my homies. And on that note, we out. Peace.